more than usually expensive, cost nearly £7,000 and was a present from the Variety Club of Great Britain. Often, local authorities cannot afford to provide all the playgrounds needed. And it is in these cases that money grants from the National Playing Fields Association can turn the scales. Playgrounds have become an increasingly important part of the association's work. And to date, their financial aid to over 200 playground schemes has totaled more than £14,000. Where, then, do they get the money? Yes, the money comes from voluntary contributions by individuals and organizations throughout the country. Sometimes donations represent part or all of the proceeds from a function attended by royalty and stars of the entertainment world, as on this occasion at the Taverners Ball. Light-hearted affairs usually, but attended by people who are not light-hearted about their support to the association and its causes. Fortunate in having Her Majesty the Queen as patron and the untiring Duke of Edinburgh as president, the National Playing Fields Association was able last year to give nearly £60,000 towards the establishment and upkeep of playing fields and playgrounds all over Britain. Since the association was formed in 1925, the total of its grants and loans has been nearly a million pounds. More and more money, the need is vast and urgent, the work unending. All in the cause, the Duke of Edinburgh and the Earl Marshal, the Duke of Norfolk, captain rival teams at Arundel Cricket Pitch. The match is in aid of the association's funds, so the distinguished cricketers are literally playing so that other younger sportsmen can also play. It's a good match too, with the Earl Marshal's team composed of many famous county cricketers and Prince Philip's of former England players. Soon, it's the Duke of Norfolk's turn to bat and a real spice is added to the game when it quickly becomes a battle between the two dukes. Prince Philip, no novice with the ball, takes over the bowling. It shouldn't take the younger duke very long to get his man, but whatever happens, the spectators can be sure of seeing on this famous pitch in the grounds of Arundel Castle the sort of sportsmanship the association is trying to foster throughout the country. Visits to playgrounds by famous people do the association's work a great service. A visit by someone as famous as American film.